Hi, it's um, it's actually Wednesday, so my cold came back, and I've been really sick the last couple of days. I've spent a lot of time sleeping in between working and seeing clients when I had to. So I'm feeling way better today. I'm in the studio, and I'm going to film my video for tonight, which I'm going to show you how to do free machine embroidery on um, just a regular sewing machine and then how to turn that into an iron-on patch. I was doing my just a little tester because I hadn't done machine embroidery in a while ready for tonight's video and it was all going really well and I've blown up my foot pedal. I was sewing away and this started making this weird buzzing noise and then when I picked it up and smelt it it smells of like electronics burning. I think I've burnt the motor out on it so I've never had that happen before. I've let, I've unplugged it and I'm kind of leaving it to cool in the hopes that it will be okay. I stopped as soon as it sort of started making the smell and the noise. So hopefully it'll be all right, but it means that I can't film my machine embroidery video for tonight. So I've come up with a plan B and I'm still gonna do an iron on patch, but I'm gonna do a beaded patch instead, which is gonna take way longer to do. So I need to get on and get it done. So I've got all sorts of different beads and crystals and chain and some little iron on things and I think I'm just going to do a really simple beaded heart and then put it onto an old handbag that I've got. My little beaded heart's looking so cool, look how sparkly it is. I love it, I love it. I'm just waiting for it to dry and then I can turn it into the iron on patch and put it on my on my bag. It's going to look awesome. It's done. I love it. It's so sparkly. The bag was already sparkly. Now it's got extra sparkles. So that's turned it from a, a nice bag into something just really cool and special. So I will use this bag now. I don't even remember buying this. I think someone must have given it to me. I found it in my wardrobe earlier. I've never used it wherever it came from. But now I will. Oh my god, I totally forgot to mention earlier that Wynn News, who are a local news um, station here in Canberra, contacted me and they want to come to the workshop on Sunday, which is really, really, really exciting. Especially because they contacted me and I didn't contact them, so that's amazing. So I think they're pretty much confirmed that they're going to be there now, I just don't know what time. So as it stands, I've only got a couple of people coming on Sunday, so... I really need to push and sell some more tickets so it's really busy and I think I might need to lock in a date for the next workshop as well so that I've got something to promote. I can promote next Thursday on my YouTube channel as well. But yeah, really excited that they want to come and talk about upcycling and see what we're doing and help spread their up upcycling and buy less, wear more, buy less, buy better message as well. So super excited about that. So this morning I'm off to get my hair dyed. I'm going to see Janice. Look at my roots. Look at that. <laughs> Look how long my side bits are too. So it's going to feel good to get this dyed and cut. I'm having a bit of a dilemma. I don't know whether to get a fringe cut or not. I've been thinking about it recently. So I will have a chat to Janice and get her advice, see what she thinks. Hey, I'm back with Janice and we're getting rid of my roots and I'm going to cut a fringe. So, I haven't had a fringe for years. So. She's going to look like the red version of me. I am. Yeah. Wait, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> With Lil as well. With her green hair. Cool. Now I'm excited to yeah, have a fringe, change it up a bit. So, it's been like this. When did we cut this? Last March or something? Yeah, I yeah, think, so. think it was something like that. So, yeah, time for a change. So I did it. I got the fringe and I love it. I really love it. It's a bit of a mess. I've been home a few hours. Forgot to film <laughs> the after, but oh, it looks super cute. I've got it with a little parting, these sort of shorter bits here. But I can still, I've still got my undercuts. I've freshly shaved on both sides. So I can still flip it over one side. Oh, I can't see what I'm doing in this screen. But yeah, can't wait to play with it and do some styles and 
yeah I love the fringe really love it super cute and this red oh my god feels so good to have fresh red hair again <music> Saturday um, I still haven't sold any more tickets for the workshop which is tomorrow really disappointed I'm so disappointed because so many people said they're interested but it just seems like the theme in everything I do at the minute is people say they love it they love it they love it until it actually comes to parting with money for it and then it just falls flat so I'm kind of over it I'm really over it I think I might just cancel Thursday because I've only sold two tickets for that it's really disappointing really disappointing I don't know why people say they're interested I guess they're just saying it to give me the motivation but I'd, I'd rather people said they're not interested and they can't come or they won't pay that much for it and say they're interested and then not buy a freaking ticket I just don't know what to do I don't know what else to try I'm almost over it I'm almost done it was the same with the website, everyone loves the dresses, the corsets, but until it comes to actually buying them, they're happy to borrow them and hire them, but won't actually buy them. So, same with everything, they love the purses and bags until it came to buying them. They love the workshops until it came to booking a fucking ticket. Just say you're not interested or you can't afford it or you don't want to pay that much or you think it's too expensive. I just wish people would be honest instead of stringing me along. Oh my god, sorry, I've gotten on a right old rant. I'm thinking about just packing it all in. <laughs> Done. I'm sick of buying, I'm sick of being skinned all the time. And everyone says, oh, it's a good idea, it's a great idea. And I know not everyone's got that money to spend, but just say, just be honest and say, I love it, but it's out of my price range. <sighs> I just feel like I've been filled with false hope at every turn for everything I do at the minute. I know I've got skills, I just don't know how to translate them into actually making a living. And right now I'm so over sewing anything, I just want to... I just want to get rid of it all and give up. How do I keep fighting? How do I keep positive? At least I've not made a loss. I just haven't made enough to actually pay myself for all the time that I've put into it. I'll keep making videos. I like making videos. And I'm going to start looking for a job. Which sucks. Which will kill me. Going and working in an office every day. Will kill me. It just remind me what a failure I am. <laughs> I don't want people buying shit out of pity. I want people to buy it because they love it and they want it. I want them to come to workshops because they want to be there. Not because they feel sorry for me and think they should buy a ticket. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I need to... I'm going to... I think I'm going to close it all down. So it's workshop day two today. I didn't have any more last minute ticket sales, which was a bit disappointing, but it's a beautiful sunny day. Wind news are coming. I'm going to make it fabulous regardless. Um, yeah, still not feeling very positive, but I'm going to put on my smiley face and pretend everything's great because that's what you do, isn't it? Oh, my God, the highs and lows of number one being a creative person you have highs and lows anyway and number two being self-employed and just constantly having to hustle to pay <laughs> make enough money to pay your bills it's just so it's so stressful it's so stressful and I'm not coping very well with it at the minute so <sighs> need to work out sit down and work out what to do to make some money whether that's making some changes in the business or giving up on the business or getting a part-time job or a full-time job I don't know I don't know but I'm just so stressed and on edge all the time at the minute and it's all down to money and the fact that I'm not making 
much at the minute and yeah it's it's hard it's hard really hard if anyone thinks that self being self-employed is easy and fun it's not it's just constant stress not knowing where your next money's coming from and worrying about paying bills and when I had staff paying wages and I've got a massive accountants bill coming up that I've got to find the money for as well and it's just never ending stress never ending stress but I guess I love it too otherwise I wouldn't have been doing it for this long so anyway I better get to the workshop and get set up and yeah the news are coming so maybe something good will come of today I'm trying to be positive trying to yeah keep positive about everything and just grab any opportunity that comes past that could make a positive difference so definitely I'm in a more positive and I didn't sound like it then but I am in a more positive frame of mind today than I was yesterday I was yeah very very low yesterday but trying to bounce back and keep going finally sat down after the workshop today I edited the video after I got home as well and it's uh, it's late now it's really late so I'm sat on the sofa with a glass of wine and just just chilling out the workshop went really really well everyone who was there had a really really great time I think today and um, they achieved a lot a lot and it was great to see two people from last week's workshop come back as well and um, people were asking when the next workshop is i had two people from last week's workshop pop in today to see what we were doing as well so they couldn't come along for the whole thing but um sandra came back with her coat to show us how it turned out when she was finished it and helen popped in to see what was going on as well and it was a shame they couldn't join us for the whole thing today but they're both keen to come back again everyone who was there today expressed interest at coming back for more as well so I'm really, I'm feeling a lot, a lot more positive tonight that this is something, that the workshops are something that I can do regularly, that I can grow, that there will be people who want to come along regularly to sit and hang out with creative people and get input and help, not just from me. I think that was, that was the thing that really, I really loved about the workshops that it, everyone gave each other help and advice and ideas throughout the workshop as well it wasn't just me helping people so I think that was just fantastic and having all the amazing stuff in Cardiff all the fabric and trims there as well for people to go and choose from and use was that's a huge huge bonus as well so um and then uh, when news came when news came so they interviewed me they interviewed all four of the women who were there doing the workshop as well and hopefully they'll edit that and do a really good story about upcycling about the workshops i mentioned that there's the um creative get together on thursday as well and i know i haven't sold many tickets for that and yesterday again i was feeling really down and worried about that but I think that might work out too. I'm feeling more positive about that tonight as well after talking to people today. Um, yeah, so I'm ending the week. Ending the week feeling a lot more positive. Yesterday was a really low, low, low point. Um, I don't know how much I'll, of the um, footage of yesterday I'll keep in when I edit this. I might take it out because I was... I was not in a good way yesterday 
not in a good way. I was not feeling, yeah, I was a, 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 one of the lowest lows that I've hit in a very long time. Um, I have, I've suffered with depression and anxiety in the past. Um, it's been very much under control for a long time. I had a wobble not long after my daughter was born. Um, I could feel myself going back there. We had some issues. This is it all. I didn't expect to be talking about this now. This has come out of nowhere. Um, um, and recently with things not going brilliantly with the business, I felt myself kind of sliding back towards that again. And I need to put into place all of the mechanisms that I have figured out for myself over the years to stop that happening. I can do it. I can do it. I don't want to be medicated again. I cannot bear taking medication for this. So I am going to do what I can do to stop sliding back into 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 depression again um it's a place i don't want to go back to it's a horrible place it's a really horrible place and i don't want to be there so i'm going to do my best to not let that happen and oh there you go here's something i yeah i didn't expect to be talking about this so there you go i've opened up talking <laughs> oh god um yeah it's been I think it was maybe 13 years since I was off on medication for it. And I'd like to keep it that way and make it even longer. I don't want to go back there. So um, I'm going to end this week saying feeling more positive, feeling more in control. That's a, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. And determined not to let myself slide down that slippery slippery slope so thanks for watching thanks for listening um i know there's people out there watching who will understand exactly what i'm talking about right now because you've been there too it's a different beast for everyone but you can still understand if you've been there as well so let's keep strong we can do this see you next week